Conscious, welcome back to my video. Today I'm actually gonna be packing with you guys because I'm leaving for spring break in literally one day. So we have to get packing. I'm a pack two hours before your flight kind of guy, but I just wanna see what I have and unpack everything. Also, this is not my Ramoa, but she is currently being repaired right now at the Paris location, so please bear with me. Okay, because I thought I was gonna say, wait, how did Oh my god, hello weekend. Hi, I miss you. Hello weekend, everyone, I miss you. This was actually pretty sentimental to me. <laughs> I'm really excited because I hate that. I hate that. My goal for this trip is to be a fashion conch and actually like put in a little bit of effort into what I wear. Also, the weather, I presume, is going to be either overcast or rainy, so I have to prepare for the worst. And I sorted out my whole closet on this couch, and this is what I have to work with. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go over my packing list, which includes pants, underwear, shirts, jackets, and sweaters. I'm gonna be taking all of those. Hey guys, I think I've made really good progress so far. I'm actually trying really hard to style and pick out outfits because as you guys see in my like outfit of the days, I'm wearing the most basic conch stuff and I really just wanna elevate my style, maybe make myself even feel better in the process. So the first thing that I'm packing is this shirt from Zara. It's just like a jean shirt with like white stitching which i really like at first i was struggling to find something to match this with but i decided to go with this light wash just because it's a little bit of a contrast but it actually doesn't look that horrible on so this is what i'm packing first so the next outfit is this polo shirt For another contrast i really like this like baby blue white with black and i think this is amazing these are Levi 550s, and that's what I'm packing for that outfit. For the next outfit, I'm going to be going with this navy polo shirt and these white-washed Levi 550s. I'm also going to be packing this leather polo jacket. It's vintage from my dad. And then I'm going to be packing this shirt. You guys, I love this shirt so much. Um, okay, so this is my final stuff. I have my shoes here, and I have my pants. I need to figure out how to fit these in there. This is, like, literally full, and then I have my other stuff over here so I need to make this close hey guys welcome back today I'm running a little late because I have to go to LAX and my flight board at 1040 it's currently 8 a.m. I'm putting on my socks because I'm running late. I have to go load my backpack and my carry-on. So currently with the traffic conditions, it's gonna take me an hour. So I hope I get there by nine. Also, I ate in and out last night, which was the worst idea because I look like a puffer fish. Perfume for the airport is Baccarat Rouge 540. Now I really have to go because it's eight and I don't wanna miss my flight. Oh, I'm actually taking my stuff out of my car now. There's like a lot of just little things. Like, so this is the outfit of the day. I'm just close location, Lululemon, and my on clouds. You guys, I'm on my way. It's like 9, 10 a.m. And now I'm walking to the shuttle. What do I even talk to you about? Like, I'm genuinely confused. I don't know. I'm going to be on about terminal 7 also my flight boards in one hour and I've not gone through security so we're gonna we're gonna test the waters hopefully I make it through but look at LEX <laughs> I'm looking for a drink. I didn't, I could have bring my water, but I'm not Let's go. 
Okay guys, I made it. Hey okay guys, I made it to the airport with time to spare. 26 minutes. I went to Hudson News, got myself an Evian. I went back and got Okay, I got a Twix and then some night clusters. So that's what's for lunch. My flight leaves in 26 minutes, but just a little update. I did wake up pretty late. I woke up at like 7.35 and it usually takes like 30 to an hour to get to LAX, but I had to do some chores before I like, took out the trash and make sure like everything was good before I left my apartment. And so I left at like eight and then it took an hour because of traffic. You know, LA traffic. So then I got here at nine and then it took 20 minutes for the shuttle to pick me up. So it took, so that was like 9.20. And then it took like 20 minutes to get to my terminal. So that was 9.40. And then it took like maybe 10 minutes to get through security, which was my saving grace. And yeah, but I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys saw, but the place that I'm going to is New York. Duh. Okay, but I wanted to show you my bag because look at this. It's like, like you can see the stitching. It's like white. I'm insane, but yeah, I can't wait to go to New York, see my sister, have some fun. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I'm gonna actually do a little taste test for my water with my water. That's not in a sense that no. You know what I mean? Like what I'm saying. I love everyone. Welcome to board. <laughs> this is the airport if you're curious. Terminal seven. That's arriving from Orlando. You were I'm leaving for New York right now. That was the sound of my I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go. Enjoy your time wherever your travels take you. If this is home, welcome home. Please stay comfortably seated. Just touched down. Just touched down. So excited. Hey conscious, welcome back. Just touched down in Newark. The flight was good. I I didn't sleep, I actually... So the whole flight, I was just watching The Wizard of Oz and then I was editing and then listening to music. So now I'm going to see my sister and I'll see you there. Okay guys, I'm a native New Yorker. I just got my ticket to Penn Station. Basically what you want to do is you want to get off the airplane um, get onto the air track, get off at the... Guys, 
I'm at World Trade Center. So exciting. Can you tell? I to carry my luggage. Oh, this is insane. Okay guys, let me explain what happened. I was trying to be economically friendly, so I was like, let me take the train instead of a cab. So I pull up to the air train, whatever. I forgot what it's called, but it's the stop after the air train. Upon getting on there, I was like eating my fruit snacks, you guys saw. And then the guy over the intercom is like, there's been a delay and you're just gonna have to wait a little bit. And we're like, okay, whatever. Okay, so then after like 20 minutes of just sitting there, the guy's like, we're gonna take you to Newark Penn Station and you must get off. This is the last stop. You must terminate the bus, the train. And we were like, what the hell? The lady next to me was like freaking out and there was like also a family, it was crazy. And then we go to Newark Penn Station and he just drops us off. But then right like next to it is like the path subway line. So basically I just sort of got on the path and now I'm at the World Trade Center. Oh my God. So now we're in the circle thing. <gasps> I'm in New York! Look at that! Oh my god, okay, so that's the 9-11 that's the memoriam. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to go find my sister, but I'm literally in New York. This city is my city, this city is my city. Cross the street with me in New York, I have two seconds. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Also, don't, don't mind my double chin, it's been out the whole time, because... So I pulled up, I pulled up, I'm with good sis, hi! I'm in the bodega! Oh, I can move on to the bodega, to the deli. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, I'm in New York! Green? Jacques and Jacques. <laughs> We've been waiting for you all summer and we're so glad you're finally here. Hey guys, I'm currently in Target because I had to get a blinky. I don't want to freeze over tonight. Oh my god, today after my workout, I was bright red. No side profile. Yes. Just touched down in Target and I got myself some cheddar popcorn and a blinky because I wasn't able to bring one. I was gonna bring my Barefoot Dreams one, but it was just too big. So, yeah. Now we're going back to our room. Hey guys, so my sister was so nice and gave me her bed. So, this is her apartment actually. <laughs> And I actually brought her a gift. She said, if I let you stay here, you have to bring me a gift. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, okay, like, you got it. I'm a good gift giver, or so I thought. And so I brought her her meds. It's But then I also brought her something else. I bought her a Coachella ticket. So here you go. Thank you. And then, last gift. A bag of chips because this is her babe. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you for your hospitality. You're welcome. She actually got me a salad, which I'm so happy for. I love salad, you guys know. And I'm gonna eat that with a side of popcorn. Also, look at my view. I'll take that. Mm -hmm.